Hey guys, the Strong Boys 19 here, and I thought I'd do a quick video showing my top 10 favorite metal albums of all time. So this list for me had been um, very hard and complicated to sort out because there were loads of really fantastic, perfect, amazing metal albums that have been released from loads of different bands through the past generations and years and so on. But I finally sorted out my list and uh, it's my list, not yours, and everyone knows that. So if you want to post a video response to this video, I'll accept it. If you just want to do your top 10 in the comments, feel free to do it. So without any further ado, let's just get this over with. Number 10, Master of Puppets by Metallica. Why isn't this album at a, a number 1 or number 2 peak, you might be asking. Well, it's because Metallica's entire discography is not 100% perfect. You know, a lot of people might be saying that this is possibly like the greatest or the best metal album of all time or ever, whatever you want to call it. Um, but Master of Puppets has been one of these albums that's been influential and this was um, one of these albums that I really loved from the golden era from this band. So the band's whole entire discography is not 100% perfect because they've really changed since like the Black Album and all the way to, um, you know, Saint Anger. And Death Magnetic was not that bad. It was a, a really cool album. But uh, for me, I still prefer the other four albums. Some people prefer Ride the Lightning than this, but for me Master of Puppets is just um, you know a little bit more better than Ride the Lightning. And that's just me. So yep, there's no top ten metal albums list without Master of Puppets or Ride the Lightning for your own list. And number nine, I don't have the C D in my collection, but number nine is Megadeth's Rust in Peace. Man, Megadeth's Rust in Peace is absolutely fantastic. It's just amazing all around. It is just as good as, um, you know, Peace Sells But Who's Buying and Countdown to Extinction. And I just really, really loved the uh, the really advanced, quick-paced creativity from Dave Mustaine all around. And the classic lineup did, uh, you know fantastic jobs by making this album so unique and kick-ass that's just so unique and catchy and just never changes into um, things that are just gonna be bad none of these bad things happen with this album it's just a complete masterpiece of an album and it, it remains my second favorite thrash album of all time so yeah Ross in Peace is definitely a big recommendation. Number 8. Slayer, Rain in Blood. Now, out of the big four from Metallica and Slayer, Anthrax and Megadeth, Slayer has been my favourite thrash band out of the big four. I love Slayer and uh, this is my favourite thrash metal album of all time. Uh, you know, besides um, Rust in Peace and um, Master of Puppets. But, you know, when it comes to Slayer, for me, Slayer will just never get old or out of style. This is just definitely one of these albums that's just, like, uh, influential, like Master of Puppets. Albums are just influential and so kick-ass all around. And uh, this is just, like, the most aggressive thrash album ever created of something like that. I guess it is, really. Judging by the really cool satanic artwork and the uh, the really cool um, fast-paced songs all around, Rain in Blood is definitely a great thrash classic. Number seven, Machine Head Onto the Locust. Now, a lot of people may consider the blackening as... Uh, you know, pretty much like the best Machine Head album all around. But for me, Onto the Locust had something just a little bit more 
And uh, we all know that the Blackening had, um, you know, really good song structure, great um, music creation all around that's just very complex and um, aggressive. But Onto the Locust, for me, is still um, really complex and aggressive, but um, they've I think they've really added in much more of a, a darker type of pace by, um, you know... I think most of the tracks on here, and uh, this is definitely like uh, the blackening, but in a much more of like uh, a, a bit of a much more of a darker side from the band. So yeah, I always loved Onto the Locust, and Machine Head had been one of these bands that I loved since they were one of the guys that got me into metal. So yep, Onto the Locust is definitely. A really awesome, fantastic album, and definitely check it out. Number six, In Flames, The Jester Race. This is my favorite melodic death metal album ever, of all time. It's just a complete, massive gem of an album. For my honest opinion, this is easily my all-time favorite In Flames album. And, um, you know, this was just uh, one of these albums that is just so influential. And it's just like um, uh, one of my friends, um, Ted, a.k.a. Moonlapse Opethian, says that this album has been one of his most influential metal albums. And this is uh, one of them in this list for me because of a lot of things, amazing song creativity, the, the melodies are just absolutely fantastic, it's just perfection by all the tracks on here, that's just fantastic with great guitar work, really good um, vocals and amazing complex creativity all around, so um, yeah, The Jester Race is definitely one of these albums to me that's really stuck up to me when it comes to metal and uh, I've listened to this non-stop because it's just so good and I love the the artwork as well so yep yeah, if you haven't checked this out guys you are missing out the Jester Race will completely blow you away now we're getting into the top five number five is Death The Sound of Perseverance this was definitely my all-time favorite album from Death. Some people mostly prefer Symbolic, but Symbolic was very, very close. And I've already done my um, top five albums from this band. But you know, this album really showed the most progression. The creativity is just like, um, you know, human all the way to this album. That's just... Um, really much more complex and fantastic all around than just the simple minding of creativity of the death metal sound the progressiveness on the album is really really good fantastic guitar work from Chuck really like the the guitar solos on here the drumming is perfect you know every single track on here including they cover Painkiller, or just kick ass. So yeah, The Sound of Perseverance, definitely check it out. Number four, we have Images and Words by Dream Theater. Now, um, Willem, aka Mel6 is 6 or 6 um, got me into the band just because he requested me to check out this album. And I checked it out on Spotify and... I was very speechless by this. This is definitely one of my most favorite progressive metal albums besides The Sound of Perseverance. And um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful masterpiece. And uh, John Petrucci's guitar work are just, you know, out of this world with a lot of really quick, amazing... F uh, sweet picking, fast guitar solo work, and uh, the other guys did brilliant works for all the songs on here. The music is just 
you know, really amazing and um, <clears throat> it's just very, very enjoyable to listen to non-stop from start to finish. So, yeah, images and words, definitely one of these metal albums that, once again, that you're missing out. Number three. Macedon, Crack the Sky. Now, when I checked out uh, Crack the Sky for the first time, you know, I was really blown away by it. And uh, this has to be, uh, you know, one of my most favorite metal albums ever. And, um, you know, this is just amazing work from start to finish. From the tracks Oblivion all the way to the last track, The Last Baron. Uh, the progressive styles on the album are just, you know, intense and um, really, really great. And I love the artwork as well. Just absolutely beautiful. It's a perfect, beautiful album with the really great creativity. And the, uh, the sounds of the electric guitars are just perfect involving the acoustic guitars and the drums and other things you name it crack the sky really um, just got me into mastodon basically so yep highly recommend this album number two uh, we have chaos ad by sepultura i loved this album since i was 13 years old and I still love this album to this day, and uh, Chaos AD has been one of these albums that I really, really enjoyed. I love the cover art so, so much, and um, the the groove metal experience with this album is still going um, really strong, and uh, they seem to have um, slowed down things a little bit than, uh, you know, like... The predecessors beneath the remains and uh, arise, etc. But um, it's definitely my favorite Sepultura album because of its whole roots of um, really dark, sounding, aggressive type of style of groove metal. And uh, you know, Sepultura for me was just the best from Morbid Visions all the way to Roots. And that's my honest opinion. Sepultura right now for me is just not the same anymore. So, yep, Chaos AD, definitely check it out. And number one, my favorite metal album of all time. It is Vulgar Display of Power by Pantera. Oh my god. Dimebag Daryl really kicked me in the nuts with this album you know vulgar display of power was just the album that really got me into metal a lot lot more when I first bought this back in 2010 and uh, you know I always loved Pantera a few years ago and um, Dimebag Daryl is my favorite metal guitarist of all time and we all know who Pantera are and um, there's just really amazing, fantastic groove metal songs that are just in your face. Just really strong, powerful aggression all around. Awesome songs, you know, Mouth for War, Walk, Fucking Hostel, This Love. Every single song in here is just amazing. And, um... You know, I can just play this album over and over and over again, and I'll never get sick and tired of it. Pure, classic, metal masterpiece. And, uh, you know, if you are a newcomer to metal, check this out. So that's it, guys. That's my video of the top 10 favorite metal albums of all time. And, uh, yeah, that's just, uh, you know, the whole video from there. And, uh, let me know what you think of these albums. And, um, you know, as always, keep it metal, guys. Thanks for watching.